You couldn't have tried harder. We have explored every medical option. Tonight, let's have a kid. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly talk about the plot. So, as you can see, there's these this couple, and they're unable to have a child. So, you know, that's all that's happened so far. Let's continue the trip. You heard what the doctor said. Give it up. They're real. Our kid would never give up. Okay, and yeah, so they can't have a kid, so they write their ideal child on a piece of paper. You know, that kind of kid that would be a glass half full person. Picasso with a pencil. Yes. And I don't know, this movie is just so like contrived, like so classic, sentimental. They're trying to pull on your heartstrings. But at the same time, it's such a bizarre concept of this child growing out of the ground because they take their ideal child that they write on the, these pieces of paper and they put the pieces of paper in the ground and then Timothy grows from the ground and that is the beginning of the odd life of Timothy Green. Fucking, in, this movie's insane. Our kid would rock. We so agree. <laughs> Just once, our kid got to score the winning goal. Yeah, that part sort of when they like our kid will sc score the winning goal, and there's this sort of twist with that. And I'm not, I'm not gonna ruin it, in case anyone actually wants to watch this movie. Um, but the part where they're like, the and our kid will score the winning goal. It's like sort of abrupt, like sort of. It's almost like a jump scare. It sort of got me. And then, yeah, this is the... I already explained what's going to happen. The, the boy grows out of the ground. That's the plot of this movie. A child just magically grows out of the ground because they wish for a kid, basically. It's fucking dumb, but it's kind of funny. Um, yeah, that's, that's a good way to describe this whole movie, honestly. Yeah, and that was, it's weird because, like, again, it's just supposed to be, like, magic. You know, it's that's all that explains it. It's just magic. This is how it goes. The kid grows on the, on the ground. He has leaves on his legs. Uh, and the rain just rained on their house. They make a point of that. And I thought that was kind of, I actually kind of liked that effect of the rain going up. It was kind of weird. But I, and I, li I kind of liked it. I kind of liked that part. And they showed in the trailer. Bunny? <laughs> There's something you need to see. Look at this hole in the ground that this boy clearly came out of. Oh yeah, Hi. and then they just got this Hi. kid covered in dirt. Is he for us? Magic is good plot armor. Like, I, I kind of hate it sometimes. It can be done right, obviously. There's fun movies that I love that use magic, like The Dark Crystal or um, Labyrinth. To name a couple. For some reason, I named the ones with puppets first. But anyways, still, I stand by those movies. Um, magic is a good plot armor, though. It, I mean, it is a way to just be like, well, you, you know, wh why doesn't that work? Why doesn't this make sense? Well, magic. Well, magic. Well, magic. That's the answer. Um, so, yeah, you're right about that. Um, and that's how this boy came to, comes to be. Mom. Dad. I'm getting that feeling. Yeah, it's so weird, too. And it's kind of creepy in a way, because they're like, like, who are you? We're going to get you to your actual parents, which, to be fair, is probably the right response. But then he's like, you're my mom and my dad. Like, come on. Figure this out. I clearly grew from the ground. Put, put the pieces together. Come on. Where did he come from? Magic. The love interest for Timmy. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this real quick because this happens a few times in the movie where he just goes into the middle of a field or whatever and puts his arms out and then he it like powers him up for some shit. I don't because he's a plant boy. It's so silly. This could easily be the plot armor plot of a horror movie, but it's a Disney movie. Oh, absolutely, this could be done horror movie style if Timmy was you know, killing people. Like, we wish for a kid, but we got a plant kid, and he has a thirst for blood for some reason. But anyway, 
that's not that that's not this movie that would be funny i'd like to see the horror version though but yeah he does this a lot in the movie where he just like stands out and like soaks up the sun and even like all these scenes where he does this the sun is already shining but then he i guess it's like he it needs to be like shining right on him i don't know but Especially in this scene that they're showing. Like, it was, like, it's a nice day. Like, the sun's shining. But he waits for, like, the perfect moment to do it. I don't know. Moving on with the trailer. It's, the trailer's almost over here. <laughs> oh, and the scene there with the, when they're playing the cowbells. So lots of the characters are kind of dicks in this movie, like the father or the grandfather of Timmy, let's put it that way. Um, I forget, the uh, Joel something is the, uh, Joel Edgerton, I think is the name of the other actor. We'll look for sure on IMDb, but the mom and dad is Jennifer Garner and Joel Edgerton. Um, oh, I completely forget where I was going with this. Oh yeah. So there's a lot of dickhead characters in this, the, like the dad of the dad, so the grandpa of, of Tammy, and the sister of Jennifer Garner in this movie is super mean, uh, and kind of just a bitch throughout, very mean-spirited. Um, she's just like saying how good her kids are, and like being, uh, Jennifer Garner says something about, oh yeah, Tammy uh, is a great artist, and she's like, well, look how that turned out for you. Just saying things like that, really negative things. Uh, so, you, like, you don't really like a lot of these characters. Like, you like the, the parents, but they... And they make a lot of mistakes in the movie as parents, like you're supposed to do, and that's the point, sort of, of the movie. But just some of the things of, like, really, that's that's your decision? Uh, really? I don't know about that decision. Um... But yeah, I was going to talk about the scene with like the cowbell and stuff. So there's a scene where um, Brenda, who is the sister of Jennifer Garner in this, she basically tricks, because uh, uh, Jennifer Garner says that Timmy's good at music, so she tricks him into coming to her recital for her kids um, and just like makes him go on stage. And then, so he starts just like tapping on a, on a cowbell or something like that, or some sort of a mallet and hitting a wood block or something. And then his dad starts like accompanying him and singing low rider. Uh, and then his, uh, Jennifer Garner comes in with the ba da ba da ba 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 part, all acapella except for smacking, except for per percussion. Um, so I don't know, that scene's kind of dumb, but it, it goes into that sort of big old recycling bin of Disney, jargon as i like to put it just classic sort of feel good moments um with them dancing and you like go away from those like so did like was that good like did they do a good job did people like that because it wasn't it wasn't good it wasn't but they came out of that being like yeah we did it and i guess the point is that they had fun and they rolled with the punches and i did i did kind of like that scene but it was kind of silly anyway we're almost done the trailer let's go It's crazy that this movie exists. Coming soon. It's this movie is from 2012, and it's on Disney Plus. If people want to watch it. Um, okay, let's look at the the Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, it's funny how different these scores are. So the audience actually generally likes this movie from a hundred thousand ratings. It's got a 67 percent audience score, but the critics did not like this, and I can see why. It's very weird but at the same time it's also a lot like a, a lot of other things it's just that very odd part about the boy growing from the ground which is the main part of the movie um uh, and yeah let's talk about the his legs that have leaves on them because that's a big sort of plot point in the movie he's got leaves on his legs so jennifer garner and joel Joel Edgerton. I'm going to keep calling that until we figure it, uh, it out for sure, but I think that's who it is. Um, and he, um, or Joel Edgerton, 
and uh, Jennifer Garner try to cut the leaves off with scissors, and it just don't work. And then get they hire like a gardener or a botanist or whatever, someone who knows plants, and he tries to cut it open. It doesn't. It just like breaks the scissors, and it's like okay, magic again, because um, that's all you can really chuck up some of the stuff in this movie. Oh yeah, I remember something else I wanted to talk about. So there's a part where I guess they they don't want people to see Timmy's green leaves that are growing out of his legs because they don't want people to make fun of him, I guess. And so there was there's a girl that he like is clearly like bonding with and and getting together and they get and then they're like what's wrong with that? Like they're not doing anything bad or nefarious at all. They're just hanging out and and they seem to like each other, but the parents are, like, mad about it for some reason. Uh, and they're like, you shouldn't be hanging out with her. But, like, why? What has she done to show that she's a bad influence? Nothing. She's been very nice. So I thought that was weird. It didn't really make sense to me. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. This movie's not good, but I, I kind of enjoyed watching it <laughs> because it was so weird uh, and dumb. Um but 36% critic score. Let's read some of the... I want to see who is in this movie, though. It's I just saw H Hedgerton or whatever. The person that I wanted to... Yes, I was right. Joel Edgerton. That is the guy. I was right. Boom. And Ron Livingston is the guy who's in Office Space. A gooey mess, but not an entirely dislikable one. I kind of agree with that review. It is a good, and it's a funny way of putting it. It's a gooey mess. Disney gone pathologically fey, I guess so. Has ever a film battled more fruitlessly against the creepiness of its own premise than Out of Tim, uh, Life of Timothy Green? Yeah, I mean, that's another good point because it is, like you even pointed out, Soap Dirty, it's so creepy. Um, it's, it has quirky charm and tender heart, but... The treacly, I don't know that word, sentiment may become worrisome. Yeah, it's just kind of, it's a little bit too, as the, one of these reviews say, it's a gooey mess. Let's just go with that. It's, And it's just too much sort of cutesiness, sentimental. They're pulling on your heartstrings, clearly. Um, let's look at the IMDb page. 6.6 6 out of 10. But uh, another thing that's weird about this movie is the plot point, a big plot point in this. I, didn't, I haven't even talked about the pencils with this fucking movie. This movie takes place in a town that alleges to be the pencil capital of the world. Uh, because there's a pencil factory and a pencil museum. And Jennifer Garner works at the pencil museum. And Joel Edgerton works at the pencil factory. And the pencil factory is going to close. Um, so they, the big plot of the movie is everyone in the town wants this factory to remain open. And this again, this goes back to like just the classic formula of a Disney movie that doesn't make sense. You got like the, all the, the asshole characters. Um, and you have this factory that's failing. But then you have the main characters that end up saving the day, of course. And how do they save the day? How do they save the factory? Well, it'd be by creating a leaf pencil. A pencil made entirely of leaves. Because they're inspired by Timmy. Uh, and some of the dialogue in this is so funny. Like, um, they say something about, like, you need a, a pencil. Uh, like, you never... You can do... Uh, there's infinite possibilities with a pencil or something like that. And Timmy says something like... That is so true. It's, just, it's so cheesy. It's so ridiculous. But it's undeniably funny. Um, I enjoyed this this mess of a film, kind of. But yeah, they save the factory with a leaf pencil. And then, of course, uh, Peter Peter Levinson. That is so true, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just his delivery, too, is really funny for it. I really liked that bit. Um, but yeah, they create, and the pencil, I, like, I call bullshit, like, I don't think it's actually made of leaves, but it looks cool, it's like a square, or, or a rectangular pencil, it's kind of, but like, with a rounded bottom, it's hard to explain, but it look, it look cool, 
but I'm not. Would that save the company? Because they act like like this is the this saves the company. Is it because leaves are cheaper? Like you can just take the leaves. Like I don't really understand the process. I wish they would have explained that a little more and why this leaf pencil is saving the company. Like why is it superior to other pencils? I don't get that. But. They, it doesn't seem to matter. That was all they needed. They saved the, the company. And, of course, the evil boss, Peter, who was another dick character in this, the guy from Office Space, he steals the idea and takes credit for it. But, of course, Timmy's like, my parents thought of it, but blah, 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 and they were inspired by me, boop, 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 boop. Uh, <laughs> basically. Um, but, yeah, this movie, it sucks. It undeniably isn't good, but it's still... I can't help but kind of like it because it's so bizarre with, like, the the kid growing out of the ground. Like, this is the premise you're going with for, for a Disney movie? Okay, I guess. In 2020, I mean, in 2012, not in 2020. This isn't that new. Rosemary DeWitt is the, plays Brenda, her, um, Jennifer Garner's sister in this. And she's in, I think, the show United States of Terra. That's what I know her from. Let's click on her name, out of curiosity. Let's see what she done. She's known for Rachel getting married. I don't know that. Oh, she's in La La Land. I've seen that. I don't remember her in it, but I also don't. I didn't really like La La Land. Hot take. I know a lot of people loved it. It got nominated for an Academy Award, but. Just, it was really boring for me, and I just didn't care about the characters, I think was the main thing. Um, it doesn't say she's known for the United States of Terra, but maybe it's in her, maybe that's not what she's known for, but maybe it's in the roster here. It would have been like 2012-ish or something like that, 2011. Maybe it's the, maybe I'm thinking of a different person I've done that before oh wait no she was in it I knew it she was in United States of Terror that's a good show too if people have never seen that um but yeah back to the IMDB page let's look at the other actors there's another actor I wanted to click on in here if I if yeah, Lynn manuel Miranda is in this, who's a huge deal now because of um, Hamilton, I think. But And he's in, like, uh, lots of other stuff. But, yeah, he was in this movie. He's the, the botanist, the plant guy who's trying to cut off the leaves, but he does it unsuccessfully. And I have to admit something about this movie, and I've, I've told people about this before, but it's just something about me. I cry when I watch sappy shit, and this is some sappy shit, even though it was so contrived, the ending, and I have to spoil the ending, kind of, I think, um, and I, but it, you kind of, you see it coming pretty quick, like his leaves start falling off, and you're like, okay, that means he's probably gonna die, and yes, he dies, but he like, just like, fades away, or whatever, because he was just sort of like a practice kid for, for Jennifer and Joel, um, but, um, yeah, before, before he dies, the, the leaves are on him, and that's how, that's how he goes away at the end, is they slowly, they slowly deteriorate, and then he dies, and so, yeah, that's, that's the spoiler alert, sort of, but I cried at the end, was the point I'm trying to make, <laughs> and when he's, like, he's giving all his leaves to different people, like, he gives one to his grandpa, he gives one to his, um, to Lynn manuel Miranda, who was the botanist, because he, he liked the leaves, and I don't know why. I, I cried because, he, uh, mainly, this was the main thing that, that, te that jerked my tears, <laughs> was uh, w when he was saying that he would leave the leaf for his grandpa in the place that you know he would find it, and he put the leaf on a picture of him and Joel Edgerton, so his son, him and his son, because they were not getting along the whole movie, so it's like, oh, he still cares, even though he's an asshole, <laughs> so somehow that made me cry, even, and I, I was even, like, yelling at the, at the computer screen that I was watching, uh, saying, why am I crying at this, oh my god, 
like it's I know it's so contrived and so so silly but I couldn't help but but cry because that's the kind of guy I am I, I get I feel the the emotions uh anyway <laughs> um let's go back to the IMDb page let's see how this movie did financially I think I looked at all the actors I wanted to yep all right let's go down the box office budget twenty five million dollars. Okay, so this didn't do like crazy, but it did good enough. It made its budget back, and then and then uh, I guess it doubled it. It, it fifty six thousand. I mean sixty fifty six thousand fifty six million gross worldwide. Opening weekend in the U S. and Canada is ten million, but then worldwide gross. Boom, they got it. They made their money back, and that's what matters the most. Um, but, so that, good for them, I guess. But, yeah, it's not it's not a good movie. It's pretty weird. <laughs> pretty weird in a lot of ways. But, um, oh, by the way, I didn't mention this. I don't think anyone he is here that has seen this movie anyway. But for anybody today or in the future if you want to join my discord i put it in the chat there uh you can you can join the discord and you can learn about what movies i'm going to review before i review them and and lots of stuff you can promote yourself but yeah we if anyone's seen this movie we can talk about it but in the movie chat voice channel in there but no worries so let's make my head big again and we're almost done here. Boom. And that's a paddling. <laughs> Wait, not quite. It's not quite lined up. You can see. Ooh. Oh, man. It's this, this little bit. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's good. We're back. I was like, I thought it was not quite the right ratio or something. No, we're good. Anyway. To sum up the review, I've already said, I think I've said pretty much everything I want to say. This movie's super weird that it even exists. And like Soap Dirty said, it could have easily been a horror movie about a uh, couple that can't have kids. And then they have a kid grow out of the ground and kill them. That Like it could happen. There's a movie there. There's something there. But um, instead we get this, this extremely... It's a little bit creepy, but it's it's extremely weird, I would say. It's definitely the right word to describe it. But um, I couldn't help but kind of enjoy it. I'm going to give this a passing grade. Um, but it is definitely not something I would recommend to everybody. If you want to watch a super contrived, magic-fueled movie, live-action family, sentimental jargon... If you want to watch this movie about a boy that grows out of the ground, then then do it. It's on it's on uh, Disney Plus if people want to watch it. But you know, no pressure. Obviously, I wouldn't uh, like. I'm saying I'm not recommending this exactly. It wasn't good. But if you do want to watch it, it's on Disney Plus. But yeah, overall, this movie's not good. Even though I I cried when I was yelling like, why am I crying at this? Um, it's very stupid. There's lots of pencil talk. It's just laughable dialogue. It could be, it could have been better, but it could have been worse. Um, and overall it was pretty fun. Uh, even though it was dumb, I kind of liked it. I'm going to give it six. Yeah, let's just give it six. This isn't going to win any prizes. It's not a good movie, but it's kind of fun. So I gave it a passing grade, 6 out of 10. I kind of enjoyed watching it. But some of the parts is like, oh my god, this is ridiculous, or this doesn't make sense. Um, but yeah, The Odd of Life of Timothy Green, 6 out of 10 ducks. <laughs>